and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use user segmentation and sales funnels inside of ChatFuel for Shopify. So if you have a Shopify store owner, it is really beneficial to know when your users bought, what they bought, what their interests are, and what's a good time to reach back and sell them another item. So this will let us do that. So let me, let's just jump right in. You want to come to uh, chatfuel.com and then make sure you're inside of your dashboard as you see here I am and once you're here come down to the Shopify e-commerce template by go beyond uh, if you already have the template it'll be down here so you want to just click on it and I'll just open it in my next window so what we are talking about today is sales funnels using sequences so what are sequences and and, and what are sales funnels and how do they work so um, basically uh, a sequence is a series of messages that your audience, based on certain characteristics, will receive uh, on a time delay. So uh, in this case, I created a sales funnel, for which is a very basic sales funnel. It's part one, awareness, desire, purchase. And this one, the person will receive after one day, this one after two days, after three days. And the goal here is to give uh, the user, the person that's reading your messages, you want to give them something really valuable uh, as your first message, something really valuable as your second message, third message could be a soft sell, fourth message, something really valuable that they want to read or a video they want to watch or piece of content, and then hard sell on the fifth message. So that's a pretty typical pattern and it's very easy to build out. So uh, here with the new sequence, I'll just build it out really quickly. And I'll say, this is an untitled block. So one of the first things we want to do uh, with the sequence is we want to subscribe users to them. So we could subscribe all the users we want to them, or we could subscribe to specific users to them. So for example, um, we, we have three basic options here. Uh, first is by using uh, reaching a segment of our audience. This is like a big chunk. Uh, and a good example of this would be reachable users, uh, users that have returned, users that are not organic. Uh, in the future, as more and more people use this bot, more of this will build out itself naturally. And you will even be able to know what channel or where these users came from. So if you want to uh, target a segment that came into this bot using your uh, homepage plugin, uh, we'll be able to segment those users out and just reach those users. Uh, maybe you promised those users a coupon or a discount of some kind and now you want to send them a follow-up. Um, another way to subscribe is using attributes. Attributes are literally just uh, characteristics that the user will have. Like a good example is uh, a person's name. Uh, so if we wanted to, uh, let's say you had a t-shirt that says, Happy Birthday, John. Okay. Imagine if you could send that t-shirt to everybody uh, whose name is John. Um, that might be a pretty good uh, way to think about it. Um, you could also do it by texts. Um, you can also do it by users. So for example, in this case, uh, we want to target users that entered our store. So anyone that pushed that first button and entered our store uh, will come in. Now, as more and more people use your bot, uh, you're going to have more and more buttons that show up here. So if someone uh, pushed um, a button on one of your other messages, uh, dealing with a product, uh, it could show up here. And then you could target that person for that specific uh, product. So um, order number, uh, product, these are just all the different attributes. And you could always create new attributes, which is the great thing here. So uh, for this example, I'm just going to just pick one randomly. And what I really would like to do is uh, pick one based on uh, what button they l last used. So last seen, uh, you can do date sign up gender um, within 24 hours so let's keep on going a little bit lower and i think we've finally last visited okay so this is something i would like to use last visited uh track my order welcome message so in this example we're automatically going to sign everybody up that last visited the welcome message and didn't go any further and we're going to automatically uh, add them to our new sales sequence so now that they're subscribed uh, we, we want to send them a message. So usually in your in your first message, you want to do something really friendly and nice. Um, and so please don't take this too seriously. 
uh, from the standpoint of my copywriting and the messaging. It's just, it's just for demo uh, purposes. I would really recommend playing around with them. So here's your subscribe to sequence. Um, we're sending people to uh, this block, to the sales funnel. So here's the sales funnel. Here's awareness. So this is where they're being sent. So now that we know that, we want to make our first awareness uh, message really powerful. So here we want to make them aware of something. So uh, we'll say something like, hi, and then we'll go first name. So you can always call up these user attributes too. I think you'll really like this. And then I'll, I'll have an image. And, and let's just pretend it's a product. Actually, I would prefer to put it in a gallery. So let me show you how quick and, and simple this is. And we're going to show them this, this logo. You can imagine that this is the, the logo of a t-shirt. I think this would be a good way to think about it. So here's the, this t-shirt. Um, and then at this point, you just show it to them. You could show them a few other ones as well. Imagine that it's a t-shirt. Now this button, it could be a, a, it can go right to your store, so you could put your store's URL here, and it will pop up, and you can make it pop up either 100% where it covers the whole window, uh, 70 or 40%. I would recommend either 100, doing 100 or 70, uh, and then we'll call this uh, buy, and we'll say it's $10. Okay, and now you just sent them an awareness, okay? A message now since it's awareness you probably don't want to put call to actions for buying so maybe you want to you, you want to just show it to them and say what do you think so um, image we'll, we'll use the, the, the cute little kitty again and then we'll say and we'll say do you like it And then we'll give them. We'll make it really easy for them to to respond by using quick, quick replies. They'll say, "I love it." And then here we'll say, "I I hate it." Great. And we'll add this to a user attribute. And we'll call it "Kitty Kitty Love or Hate." Okay. So this automatically goes into this group, kitty love or hate. Whenever someone pushes this button or this button, it gets added to this group. And later on, the people that loved kitty, we could send them more kitty stuff. And the people that hated kitty, we'll find out what else they like. Because obviously it wasn't kitty. So if they, if they loved it, we can do part two desire. And this is where they'll go next. Okay? Or you can just leave this blank. Okay? And, it, and you just say, Got it. Thanks. Okay. And then what you can do uh, the next day, so one day after this message, they come to their desire uh, part of the funnel, and now you could let them buy Kitty. You could say, hey, Kitty is on discount today. Check it out. So you give them that. We'll delete this, and then um, we can put the carousel in there, or the gallery. Uh, both work, and we'll do square. Done, and just like that, we're ready to go. We're re ready to rock and roll. Here's Kitty. Kitty will say ten dollars. Uh, we'll say that it's fifty percent off. And then we'll add the buy button here. 
And now the best way to do it is just to use your Shopify stores page. Uh, you can put in the amount and then do, you do URL and you'll do like whatever your shops dot com backslash kitty and it'll automatically open that the other thing we really recommend is having a share button so they could share kitty with their friends okay and if you had kitty in different colors you could add the different colors here so they can select the one they want and just like that you went from from awareness let's find out what the person likes to desire um, to purchase uh, really this is kind of like a really condensed funnel so uh, depending on what kind of um, depending on what kind of uh, items you're selling, you might have a longer or a shorter sales cycle. Uh, it might, uh, the items you might sell, be selling might be very, in, you know, in the moment. So someone sees it and, and it's, a, it's a reactive purchase. They just want to buy it right away. Or it might be something that they might need to, need to see three or four times. And now you could show it to them those necessary amount of time so you could build up that desire. So you could also think of other ways where you could build up desire, where you could show other people, you could show uh, using the product, videos of the product, uh, just saying hi, or maybe like uh, this kitty does something fun and interesting. Maybe there's some sort of like content around it, uh, which will build up the desire, maybe seeing other people wearing kitty. And then finally they'll come in, they'll purchase it. So, um, that's the best way uh, to use a sequence. They work automatically and, and they uh, it automatically gets sent one day after the other. And again, so we went over sequences and we went over segmentation. And there's one last piece to this uh, that will really bring it back, bring it together for you. So uh, we'll go back to, to, our, um, to our subscriber sequence. And the cool thing here is that you can also make it an A-B test. So you could say, okay, we'll do sales funnel and we'll do uh, new sequence one, which is this one right here, okay? And we're gonna A-B test it. So out of everybody that came to the welcome message, half of the people are gonna go here, the other half are gonna go here, and we're gonna, we're gonna see um, which one performs better. So we can do a really quick A-B test. And uh, um, to take this a step further, which is, I think, one of the coolest things about bots is that every single one of these blocks and sequences could have its own domain address. So if you want to, you could send a person directly to that block. So imagine that you're on your website. Uh, on your website, uh, you have this little kitty, okay? And you can have like a call to action that's like 10% uh, off when you get kitty right now. They click on it and they come down your awareness funnel where they see the different types of kitties. And where do you get the link to send them here? We get it right here. So as soon as you click on this, make it into a black link, and that becomes your your uh, your URL. So you can copy it, and then anytime uh, someone comes here, they'll be taken right to that block. So let me show you how that works. And the cool thing about Messenger is that it's available uh, clearly on messenger.com, also on um, your phone, and it holds state. So you could see I was using this bot earlier, just playing around with it. And he was like, hey, do you like Kitty? I love it. I hate it. Okay, I'll say I love it. And boom, here comes Kitty. I can now buy it for 10 So let's see what that looks like. Remember, it's a URL, so now it sends me to that URL. We're not going to go there because I just... I made that up, uh, but you get the idea. And then when we go right back into chat fuel, uh, we'll see that in our in our uh, kitty love or hate it as a variable. Now we're going to have one person that actually likes uh, that likes kitty. So let's let's take a real quick look uh, on what that looks like. So actually, we'll go to broadcast and let's say we wanted to send that one person a message. attribute so kitty love is in value we'll say uh, I love it love it so the person that just loved kitty is now just gonna get a message and you can make your message here using texts uh, images galleries and so on so uh, once again thanks for watching uh, and please uh, let us know what you think in the comments uh, let me know what you think um, and how well these features are working for you. 
Uh, we'll, we'll love to uh, get feedback. And have a good uh, rest of your day. Thank you. Bye-bye.